Terra Luna Classic adding a little extra salt to their breakfast this morning. Guys, the volatility was elevated, and we saw Terra Luna Classic shooting up to around 17,000 points per coin. It has faded a little bit, and even Terra Luna 2.0 rising on this elevated, well, buying pressure. I mean, we saw both of these coins shooting up roughly 5% when the overall cryptocurrency market was stagnant, if not moving lower, and, and this is an excellent sign of life that we still have buyers, regardless of what the overall cryptocurrency market is doing, we still have buyers out there interested in Terra Luna Classic, and of course, because both coins were moving, yes, Terra Luna 2.0 or, or Luna 2.0, whatever you guys want to call it out there. But nonetheless, this is a very good sign. We're going to be talking about this volatility, what it means. And we're also going to be going over some of the updates on Binance burns, proposals passing, and everything else. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you got KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But of course, if you're holding on those exchanges, it is considered a loan to those exchanges. If you want Want it to be your assets, you need to hold it on a cold storage or a DeFi wallet. Guys, there's a lot going on in the Terra Luna Classic community. There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of hype. And, and really, you're not seeing much of a, a fall off. Now, of course, we have since we were running up to 60,000 points per coin. There's been less social media interaction. There's been less excitement about Terra Luna Classic since it was running to those all-time highs. But that is expected. You, you know, there's a direct correlation by between the amount of people that are looking for, talking about, and searching, uh, you know, any coin, but Terra Luna Classic in this example, and the price action of that underlying coin. So price action, not as exciting lately, and therefore not as much social media mentions going on, but nonetheless... It, it is, it's not died out, is, is what I'm trying to say. And that shows that this community is here to stay and that this community will only grow from here on out. Now, the good news is we see this volatility in both Terra Luna Classic and Luna 2.0. And it is good news because it indicates that there are still buyers out there that are willing to go contrary to the overall market. You didn't see the same spike up in Bitcoin and Ethereum and so on today. And, and that means that we're not necessarily, I mean, we are tied to the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum and so on because the Terra Luna Classic is really following the overall market, but not for the volatile spike that we saw this morning. So we do have traders. We've got people that want to get their hands on Terra Luna Classic, and that is always a good sign. But there's a lot of speculation and a lot of questions going on about the Binance burns that are coming up. So we'll briefly talk about that and, and Binance listings. Um, I'll say this. First and foremost, if you see any posts out there, if you see any videos out there claiming that Binance US is going to be listing Terra Luna Classic, they have not made that announcement. They have not said that. And as a matter of fact, I believe that CZ Binance sometimes gets a little annoyed if people just continue to tag and tag and tag and, and try to get him to list a coin. Now, in the same breath, okay, Binance US, I believe is still going to buy Voyager. I have not seen anything to the contrary just yet, but but please know that that is my belief, and I, I don't know 100% for certain if they are. Terra Luna Classic listed on Voyager, but not listed on Binance US. It is It would be beneficial for Binance to be able to list that because people would move their coins over to the Binance US platform as opposed to Binance having to cut a check and pay people for for the coins as opposed to having them in their custody so there is a little bit of hope out there if you're wanting binance us to list terra luna classic but, but that's all i mean that's like speculation it's just floating around right now 
and, and it's an added benefit and nothing directly from them on whether or not they will do so. So please keep that in mind if you see any posts out there claiming that they are listing it and stuff. But, uh, I mean, it would be beneficial if they did. So moving on from that, let's talk about Binance Burns real quick. We know that Binance is set to burn Terra Luna Classic on March 1st or 2nd. And I guess it depends on where you live, right? March 1st or 2nd, we're going to be seeing these, these Binance burns come across and people are starting to get excited about how much it's going to be. It's going to be three months worth of trading fees. Now, prior, we knew that the trading fees were roughly $1 million a month that they were burning. And Binance has announced that they are burning 50% of those trading fees. So if you do some extremely simple math and you take that one that one million dollars a month and you cut it in half because it's half the trading fees, you know, you're looking at roughly five hundred thousand dollars a month. And because it is it's three months worth, possibly one point five million dollars worth of Terra Luna Classic will be burned. Now of course, just to point it out, I make some very just like basic assumptions that the trading volume has remained the same throughout the last three months and uh you know you're just moving that you know you're moving those averages forward as opposed to taking the actual trading volume that took place over the last three months so nonetheless or regardless even if it's slightly less we're still in for a very large binance burn if this latest proposal passes so the update proposal to the terra luna classic blockchain it is a necessity that that passes if we want binance to burn why Binance said that they are not burning if we do not have their wallets whitelisted, and they are not burning if we do not have a burn wallet that will never see Sanerage. So 100% of their burns that they send over will be burned and will never be reminted. That proposal is clearly passing with flying colors right now. It is set unless people actually change their mind and change their vote. It is set to pass. But I'm telling you what, man, they they couldn't have made the timing any more, any closer to the deadline. The update is going to take place on February 28th. It's the last day of February, and these burns are supposed to be coming over on March 1st or 2nd. So these validators are going to have to get their act together, download that update immediately, and make sure that the blockchain is is set for, for Binance to burn that Terra Luna Classic there. Otherwise, we could run into a little bit of a mess, and I don't want to see that happen. So guys, we've actually got a lot of good stuff. The overall cryptocurrency market may not be doing as well as it did in January, but as far as the Terra Luna Classic blockchain goes, we are building, we are innovating, we are continuing this this progress forward. Binance seems to be coming back with their burns. You know, hopefully they don't change their mind or anything crazy. And and you know, there's a lot of I guess healthy speculation out there about the future of Terra Luna Classic. So I want to know what you guys think. What did you think about that volatile spike this morning? Was it exciting for you or you kind of missed it? What are your thoughts? Let us know down there in the comments below. And if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.